Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Let's solve this question. Find a recurrence relation, okay, for for the number of permutations of a set of n elements. So what we want, we want a recurrence relation. We want to count the number of permutations of set of n elements. Let's assume we have a set, and in this set we have n elements a1, a2, a3, and so on, a n. So these are the n elements we have. We want to find the recurrence relation to count the number of permutations, okay, of this set, okay. So let's call it P n. Let's call it P n. P n means what? P n means number of permutations. So remember this P n. I am writing P n, and what it means? It means number of permutations of of n elements. Number of permutations of these n elements so this is a set of n elements so this is what i am writing number of permutations of n elements these n elements okay now we want to find out the recurrence relation for this now this is again very easy because when you are writing permutation of n elements okay so total how many elements we have total we have n elements okay so we have 1 2 3 and total n positions we have so we want to create permutation permutation means arrangement so order matters okay we want to create the permutations now you can notice that so we want to find pn pn means we want to find number of permutations how many permutations are possible with these n elements so we have total n elements so with these n elements how many permutations are possible this is what we what we want to find now very easily we can notice that okay you can notice that we know the last element what can be the last element what can be this element okay so you can notice that this element either it can be a1 or it can be a2 or it can be an so it can be any of these elements you can notice this can be any of for example it can be a1 or this last element this can be a1 or this can be a2 or this can be a3 or this can be an okay so many total okay i have total five uh, total n choices i have here okay so you can notice that to find the number of permutation number of permutations of n elements what i can do what i can do i can put some element here for example if i put some element a1 here if i put this element a1 here then i can count the number of permutations of n minus n element n minus 1 elements okay if i put a1 here then what i can do after putting this a1 i can count the number of permutations of n minus 1 elements so if i put a1 here then number of permutations of n minus 1 elements number of permutations of n minus 1 elements if i put a1 here okay but instead of a1 i can put a2 also okay i can put here instead of a1 i can put a2 also if i put a2 then again i will get pn minus 1 again i will get pn minus 1 okay see very simple if i put a1 here here if i put a1 then you can notice how many permutations i will get tell me if i put a1 here then how many permutations i will get i will get pn minus 1 permutations okay similarly if i put a2 here in the last position then how many permutations i will get i will get pn minus 1 permutations again if i put a3 here if i put a3 in the last position then again i will get p n minus 1 permutations okay if i if i put a so if i put any element then what i am getting i am getting p n minus 1 p n minus 1 these many permutations i am getting okay so you can notice very easily that for this position for this okay so every time for a because of a1 if i put a1 i am getting p n minus 1 permutations if i put a2 i am getting p n minus 1 permutations if i put a3 i am getting p n minus 1 permutations so like this so you can notice that because because we have n choices okay for this position for this last position because we can put either a1 or a2 or a3 or an so we have total n choices so we will get n into p of n minus 1 this is the recurrence relation that we will get okay so very simple question nothing hard in this what we want to find we want to find permutation of how many permutations of n elements we have okay this is what we want how many permute for example let's take example how many permutations of number of permutations number of 
permutations number of permutations of four elements if you have four elements okay let's assume you have four elements a b c d then how many okay we want recurrence relation for number of permutations of four elements let's call it p4 what is p4 this is number of permutations of four elements now you can notice that okay we have four positions now if the last position is a then how many permutations i will get i will get permutations of three elements so i will get p3 okay if if the last if the last position if the last position if the last element is b then again i will get then again i will get p3 again i will get permutations of three element if the last element is if this last element is c then i will again get permutations of three elements and if the last element is d then i will again get uh, permutations of three elements so you can notice permutations of four elements that is equal to four times that is equal to so permutations of number of permutations of four elements that is four times okay p3 so this is the recursive this is the recursive formula okay so this is very simple so for the last position we have n choices and once we put some element if we if i put some element then how many permutations i will get once i fix this element this last element once i fix it how many permutations i will get and p n minus 1 these many permutations i will get so this is the recurrence relation that we will get okay so this is the recurrence relation and what is the initial condition see this is this is what we got p n is equal to n multiplied by p n minus 1 this recurrence relation we got but what about initial condition initial condition we we can easily make how many okay uh, basically p1 what is p1 this is number of permutations of one element this is number of because pn means remember pn means number of permutations of n elements this is pn okay so what will be p1 that will be number of permutations number of permutations of one element only one element so number of permutations of one element how many so that p1 number of permutations of one element that will be one if we only have one element so p1 will be one now you can easily find this is the recurrence relation this is the initial condition okay so this is our recurrence relation okay and this is our initial condition now you can very easily find what will be p2 p2 means number of permutations of two elements okay so that will be 2 multiplied by p1 and that will be 2 you can notice the number of permutations of two elements if we have two elements then two permutations are possible these two permutations are possible and this is our answer number of permutations of three elements number of permutations of three elements what that will be that will be 3 into p2 and that will be 6 okay so for three elements we will get six permutations so this is our recurrence relation and this is our initial condition okay so very simple in the next video we will take more examples and we will we will write recurrence relations for more counting related questions okay thank you